I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. A shelter in place order in unincorporated El Paso County has been lifted. The sheriff's office sent it out over a two mile radius near Glen Eagle around one this afternoon. Deputies did not offer many details about what's going on other than saying they found a dead person inside a home and put out that order based on what they found at the scene. We have a crew heading there right now. We'll have the latest updates right here and on our website, thedenverchannel.com. A new free rideshare program is making it easier for people living in Denver to get around town. Montbello residents can take advantage of the city's Montbello Connector service. It works just like Uber or Lyft. You schedule a ride by using the Montbello Connector app or calling the number on your screen. It only operates inside the Montbello neighborhood and it's completely free, funded by the city of Denver. People living in Montbello tell us this, tell us this will help fill in RTD's service gaps. Beautiful weather across the Front Range again today, 60s and 70s for afternoon highs. We had 50s and 60s for the high country with sunshine for just about everybody. But we do have a cold front coming in from the northwest. That is what's going to change our weather for Halloween and for the Bronco game, bringing in much colder air. 45 degrees expected for tomorrow's afternoon high with chances for rain and snow as we head into the evening. So expect those 30s and 40s stretching across eastern Colorado. It'll be warmer in the high country than it will be here across the Front Range. Wow. All right. Thank you, Stacey. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand Update. Thank you for joining us. You can check back here later tonight for another update. I'm Jacqueline Allen.